Anthropology is basically the comparative study of cultures and societies. We're trying to ask really big questions about what we've all got in common, but also what are the differences between different groups of people and communities across the world. With social anthropology, we are studying societies from around the world. Uh, in the history of anthropology, that used to be the societies of uh, faraway places. But nowadays, uh, we study uh, societies, whether the, in, in Paris, in London, in Brighton, uh, as well as in the parts of Africa where I work. I'm a first year student and I've just finished my first term and we've been looking at sort of core aspects of what makes a society. So in particular we've been looking at kinship and sex and gender and politics and relations within a society. Um, we've also been comparing different societies and how they differ. In particular we've been looking at um, different theorists' views on how cultures are formed and generally how the world works. Yeah, one of the best things about the course is the, the, the lecturers are you know, actively in anthropology so it's great to, to ask them questions, you can go up to talk to them and they can tell you what it's like first hand um, and we really gain as a class from that. I knew anthropology wasn't just about learning about other people in other countries and tribes and things like that. You know, you get the anthropology of shopping in Western societies, it's all very much a global thing and there's no like other, it's not like people just go into the third world. It makes you question everything taken for granted. So we learn about, um, in one module we learn about globalisation, there's Edward Said's Orientalism and it's like the other. I just completed my undergraduate degree, which like arguably have been the best few years of my life. Um, I found the course really engaging, really political. Um, the teachers are all so enthusiastic, you know, they give you so much help and they really they really make you think in kind of ways that I wasn't really used to before. Um, so I've decided to carry on and do my MA. I never really want to give up learning. Um, I'd ideally like to pursue a career in social research, which my, which my MA will help me to do. One thing I'm really looking forward to is in the second year we have the opportunity to go on a placement. The university are helping us set up these and helping us apply for these, which is going to be really beneficial for our future in applying for jobs and programmes elsewhere. Uh, we offered a range of places from Madagascar to Thailand, working with all different sorts of charities, organisations and companies. And it gives us an opportunity that we wouldn't have otherwise. Over these three years, I've really had the opportunity to develop my skills in um, critical analysis and, and doing research as well. Next week, I'm going to the Isle of Barra in the Outer Hebrides. I'm going to spend a bit of time there doing my own research. And it's just amazing to have a degree that, that allows you to explore the things that you're really interested in, in developing in that way. I would definitely encourage new pupils to come and study at Sussex because it's not only engaging but it's also creative. There's a lot of interaction between you and your lecturers. It's a really interesting place, there's a lot going on in Brighton, especially related to anthropology. And also we have a, there's a lot of opportunities to go out and meet new people and join societies. And it's a really interesting course. One of the exciting things about doing a degree in anthropology at Sussex is that we're very interested in and excited by teaching methods here. So we will offer you a whole variety of, of modes of learning, if you like. We have a real reputation here for interdisciplinarity, so that we, we love working across disciplines as well as within our discipline. I'm really, really passionate about knowing more about people and you know, what they do and why they do it, and uh, anthropology is just, just perfect for that because you get to see so many different ideas and cultures and beliefs and you get to see it not from a sort of mainstream media point of view but you can really sort of dig into it 
and you know, find out things that you would usually you know, never come across. And that's just really exciting. I love it so much. I think the major thing that studying anthropology will give you is an ability to see beyond what is presented to you and you want to see beyond the headlines. I think doing a degree in anthropology at Sussex is a journey of discovery where you might start with all kinds of assumptions about who you are and the way that you live and what is or isn't natural and by the end of it you'll see things very very differently and you'll have a much deeper and broader understanding of why societies are the way they are.